What's up guys, Papa Stanimus here. And if you're a Twitch streamer and you use Twitter, I have something really cool for you. No longer will you ever need to post I am live Twitter posts, okay? And let's just say this and get this out of the way. Posting that every day clutters your Twitter feed up and makes it not as cool and makes you less approachable. It's more of spammy at that point. And we want to remove all that kind of stuff out of our own little atmospheres, right? At least that's the way I feel. So this new program that we have here allows a bot to change your Twitter name to add a live now with a red recording button in your name when you go live. And it'll automatically remove it when you go offline. It's all automated once you get it set up and it's really cool, okay? So this is the way you want to tell everyone on Twitter without spamming them that you're live and all you have to do is comment on things and like things and do whatever and it, this will always be in your name when you're live it's a really useful thing so uh just by naturally building your twitter without trying to spam it your name will be everywhere with it live now when you're live pretty useful might might make a difference for a lot of people might not either way it's a nifty little tool and it's all automated so to do this what you want to do is click the link down below it's going to take you to my article here at game rebel okay and uh, in the article, we have two things. One is we have credit to the guy that made it. The guy, his name is Codespent. I'm not sure if he's a Twitch streamer or not. I know he's a programmer and he made this for free for everybody. And he announced it in the Twitch subreddit for everyone to use. He just said, everyone, here you go. Here's this thing I made, enjoy. And uh, side note, this is a really good way to promote yourself is make something really cool for everyone. Put your name on it, release it for free and bam, your name gets out there. So this guy is, everyone's getting to know who this guy is because of this thing he made. Just throwing that out there for people wanting to know a little bit about networking and promotion and stuff like that. This guy is getting to know everyone. All right, so uh, at the bottom of the article, there's a link that takes you to the place that gets you started here, okay? So this will take you to the website. And uh, what you do is just click this green button, very simple. It's gonna ask for some permissions. It's gonna ask for permission to connect to your Twitch um, it says it needs uh, access to change or uh, to see your display name, your stream status, and stream data for debugging or something. Okay, I just said yes, no problem. All right, it also needs access to my Twitter. Now, the Twitter access it needs is pretty hefty. It needs some pretty high-level permissions to your Twitter account. So keep that in mind if you don't like people having access to your shit. Keep that in mind. I just said yes because he need. He needs to have these permissions to be able to change the username. Being able to change a username on a Twitter account requires high permissions. He requires them. Connected. Okay, now, um, you have to go through the Twitter thing, authorize app. That has all the things. Okay, now, you, your success, you're all set. That's as easy as that. Go to the dashboard, right? And um, it's going to pull up like a random stream. I think what it's doing is pulling up random streamers. Um, that are on here, what I suggest you do is make it the same stream every time. Every time I refresh the stream, it's a different stream and there's no viewers going there. I think you need to get all the viewers channeled to the one guy that cycles every 30 minutes or something. Anyways, now what we wanna do is go to our Twitter account, okay? Here is our Twitter account and I am currently live on a throwaway Twitch account right now, which I connect connected to my Game Rebel Twitter Okay, and there it is, automatically changed it, live now, Game Rebel. Now I'm gonna go offline, I'm gonna hit uh, stop streaming. And I don't know how long it takes to go away. I'll just kind of refresh and see if it detects it right away. Looks like it might take a little bit. It could take a couple minutes. Okay, and it took a little bit, but it finally decided to remove itself. It took about three minutes for me. Um, I'm not really sure this thing is kind of new and it is free. So three minutes, not so bad. Um, you know, if it was like an hour or something, I would kind of have a problem with that, but three minutes, not so bad. Uh, and that's it. That's, that's actually really cool how this works. Thank you guys for watching. If you learned something from this video, if you like this video, please hit the like button. If you didn't learn something, if you didn't like the video, hit the like button anyways. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to Papa Stanimus. Get notified of further videos. We do a lot of OBS videos. We do a lot of streaming videos. I do all kinds of gaming tutorials, everything. It's all cool stuff. And of course, I am live on Twitch right now. Go there now. I'm probably live right now. 
Go there. Go, go, go. Go. Twitch TV Papa Stanimus. Twitch TV Papa Stanimus. Twitch TV Papa Stanimus. Twitch TV Papa Stanimus. Go there now.